Hi, this is a tutorial to go through how to use the Kingsoft presentation software. And basically this is very similar to um, PowerPoint in the way that it works and uh, these controls are all very similar. So during the exam, you may be given a number of tasks to do using presentation software and everything can be done within this software. So don't panic um, about using anything, it's just a case of familiarising yourself with this type of software. So what I've done here is open up a blank presentation. Now the premise of the presentation will give you um, a title slide, often you'll be asked to produce a title slide. Um, you can just click in the box and add a title. You can also add a sub subtitle as well. Um, most of the things that they ask you to do are relatively basic in terms of using the software. So you can see here the toolbar is very similar to that of a Word document. So again, changing fonts or anything like that can be done from the toolbar here. Um, sizes of the text that you're using. So if you want to highlight that and make it slightly bigger. So you do it and you've got bold, italics, underline, and then your formatting tools there. So um, it's to do with the alignment, um, numbers and bullet point lists. And generally your toolbar that you've come to recognize from a, a Microsoft Word or general Word document layout. Um, to create new slides, all you would have to do is go to File and, um, sorry, Insert and then New Slide. And if you wanted to delete a slide, then you could just go to Edit and scroll down to Delete. So I'm just going to insert a new slide here just to show you what that would look like. Um, generally, during the exam, you are fine to keep the the theme, the layout exactly as it is, as in black and white, just because there is a download, um, uh, sorry, an upload limit on the presentation. So if you put too much in there in terms of colour designs and transitions and that kind of thing, it can make it, um, make the size too big for it to be uploaded. So just be aware of that when you're trying to um, create your presentation from scratch. The next thing to know about the software is just the layouts of the text. So once you've selected and added in a new slide, you can alter how you want it to, to be set out in terms of layout. Um, you can have columns and text and pictures and that kind of thing. It's entirely up to you how you want to lay it out um, given whatever task you are doing, you may want to include pictures and that kind of thing. So it would be best to kind of use the title and sometimes the picture content as well. You are often asked to include a header and a footer for some of your slides or maybe all of your slides. So it's good to know where that is. So that's just under the view. Um, tap there and if you scroll down to header and footer you can see what you can include on there as well so you can just type in whatever you need um, once you've typed that in you can apply to all which means that you will um, have that footer on each slide or you can just apply to one slide by clicking apply so if you want them all to include the footer you'd include, you'd click this button here. Most of which you want to include on a presentation is going to come from the insert tab here. So um, including images, so we'd scroll down to graphics and if you've got a file from that you've already downloaded, you can click here and then just browse that in whichever in whichever folder you've kept it in. 
Um, again, you can also include clip art. Um, if you need a text box, you can include that as well just by clicking either horizontally or vertically, whichever way you want it. Um, sounds as well. So sometimes you may be given a sound and want to include that into your presentation. So if you just scroll down to insert and then movies and sounds and click sound and then got already one here if I just double click that you'll insert the sound into the presentation okay if there if there is a an occasion that comes up where you are creating a design for the template you can decide what kind of design you want by going to format and then design templates if you click on there, they'll give, be given a number of design choices down here, of course, as well. As I say, during the exam, I wouldn't go with anything too fancy and just this plain presentation would be fine for an exam, an exam or just a different minimal theme, just because of the um, upload limit that you'll be using. Also when it comes to inserting the shapes you'd go around about the, the drawing of those shapes in the same way. So you'd go to insert graphics and clip art this time and this is for all different kinds of shapes. So obviously you've got your different kinds of clip art in here and you can select whichever one you want. If you just wanted shapes, if you just click from the top here and you can select auto shapes rather than clip art. And then you'll have different types of shapes that come up. And you can see you've got call outs and stars and all the different types of shapes there as well. There is a separate tutorial on drawing shapes um, using Word and it very much is the same within this type of software as well. So I'd recommend if you want to know further information as to draw those shapes and um, you have a look at that tutorial. And then finally, if you wanted to include some type of transition or animation, you could just go to the slideshow tab there at the top and scroll down and you could either include um, a animation scheme, which will give you the different types of animations you can add to each slide or the transition, which is the transition from slide to slide. So if I just click here um, and it will give me a little preview of whichever transition I wish to use. Now, as I say, this software is very similar to PowerPoint and Microsoft um, and the various versions that you can use. It's just to get familiar with the types of settings that we're using. So I hope this has been helpful.